I bet you've never seen this product before or you've seen it over the internet and have wondered whether it's a product that you should buy. Today we're going to be looking at the newer Dolly Slider. Let's dive into it. Hi everyone, my name is Daniel from Desktop Gamers and today we're going to be looking at the new Dolly Slider. So let's open, let's look at the box first and then we see what is inside. Uh, basically the only few words that are there, there's uh, the brand which is the newer. Now there are, this is uh, a Dolly Slider and there's so many on the market but they all do the same thing. Most of them are just different uh, when it comes to the brand but they look exactly the same. The best brands that I would recommend when it comes to this is uh, the Andua and uh, the newer which we have today. And uh, this is a product, uh, if you want to record uh, your videos, uh, let's say you want to do some B-roll where you have to do the camera movements, your video will turn out a bit shaky. Now this is the solution to such a problem. This slider, meanwhile it's so cheap, because sliders be super expensive, but this is a cheap slider that will get most of those uh, camera movements that are smooth for you. So. There's nothing else on the box that is worth reviewing, apart from uh, the specifications that I'm seeing here. So it has uh, a battery of um, 1500 milliamps. It uh, can do the time lapse. It does the curves, the straight. It has a remote control and it has three levels of the speed and uh, with a load bearing of three kilograms. Well, <clears throat> let's open inside and look at uh, the device itself. So from the box, obviously, as usual, we get the manuals, which we never read. So I'll put those away. Uh, we get a charging cable. Now it uses a micro USB charging cable. So uh, it's a good thing that the company has included the cables so you don't have to buy an extra, I mean, a cable for you to use. It has uh, the hexagonal wrench and then the spare rubber for the, for the spinners or the legs. Um, it comes with a remote so you can uh, have control over your uh, movements with the remote control and then it gives you uh, this camera holder with two sides for I've forgotten how big which this one okay this is the um, quarter one over four and then this is the three over eight size for the different cameras or the holders that you might want to put and then the device itself and this is how it looks like so <clears throat> i'll put this away and then show you exactly what comes from the box the slider itself we have the mount the remote the wrench the charging cable and then the user manuals that's everything that you get from the box we don't use, need the user manuals. I bet it still has uh, a battery that it came with. And then the spare is for these uh, rollers that it has. So they give you at least one spare one that you can use uh, in case one of them gets messed up, which is a good thing. And then uh, the wrench is for unscrewing these off, the ones below. Yeah, but I don't think we shall be doing that at any point. So. First, uh, we're going to look at uh, the product itself. Now, this has uh, three wheels, and one of them is more motorized. So this is the one that uh, is um, run by the motors inside, and then these just uh, fall along. It has uh, two levels of the mount, the big size, which is the quarter inch, and then the smaller, which is uh, the three. Uh, three over eight, I don't know how they mentioned that. And uh, that's for mounting either the cameras or any mount that you would want to put on top. Uh, like we've learned from the box, this thing is only, it's only 300 grams and it has a weight, a payload weight of uh, three kilograms. That means that it can carry your camera together with the accessories as long as you do not exceed the three kilograms. Now, if you look at it, it has um, different uh, levels that they are showing here. Uh, this would help you uh, set the movement that you would want. If you want it to go in the straight line, you would have to put it 
to that straight line that they've showed you. And if you would love to have it maybe go around a particular product, it could be like, uh, let's say this camera, maybe you're reviewing this camera. If you give it to an angle, it would move around that product. And then it gives you different levels depending on how close or how far you would want it to do the movement. So um, that's, uh, that's with the angles. It can move up to this angle and uh, it doesn't just move uh, around the, the object, but can also give you a 360. Let's say you want to do a 360 of the room. It will do that. Now that's if uh, you've set it backward instead of uh, forward. And there are also the distance. It will look at the distance depending on the angle that you give it. So this would give uh, a 360, let's say, if you put this camera, it would look outward like so, to see the environment around you. And if you turn it to the other side, it would lower, uh, move around the object. Um, on the side, we have uh, the power button, which has the on and off, the charging port, which is uh, a micro USB like I've mentioned already. Uh, on the other side, we have the speed button and then the back and forward buttons. Uh, I'll switch it on and see. So when you switch it on, it has battery. Like uh, it said on the box, they give you three levels of the speed. So when you switch it on, it starts with a maximum speed. But when you press the speed button, it will reduce from, um, from three to one, which one will be slower. And then two will be a little faster. And then three will completely be fast. And we shall, uh, we shall test that in a short while. And then this moves it back or forward. Let me give that a try. Let's say if I've set it to a straight line, then I switch it on. Um, so when I switch it on, I'll set it to a slower speed and then I'll hit start. So this will give you that, um, that, um, that uh, slide of the camera and I can reverse it if I want it to go the other side. So those shots, the cinematic shots that um, you've seen in movies, you'd be actually able to pull them off with this dolly slider. Uh, I can, let me increase the speed. So that's at uh, speed two, the second level of the speed. Actually, let me, let me, let me switch it off. Let me switch it off and start, uh, Start it from here so you can look at how fast or slow it goes. So I'll start from the lowest speed. First, I switch on. I start from the lowest speed, which is level one, and then I'll start it. That's how, that's how uh, level one will be moving. Okay. I wish I put a timer so we can see how long it would take for it to get to this side. So I'll put it back but this time switch to level two. So that's how fast level two would be doing the movement. And uh, here you can think that it's moving slow, but with a shot, it would be smoother. Uh, now this is level three. Level three is uh, way faster compared to level one. I'm going to move it back using level one. So I'll change the speed. The... So that's level one coming back. So you see how slow it goes. Um, okay, that's with the movements. Now, to have it easier, they added a Bluetooth controller. And uh, I hope it has any battery. So sometimes when you see that um, the battery is, um, act I mean, uh, the remote is acting up, sometimes these batteries come when they are discharged. So the only thing that you need to do is uh, buy a replacement battery and then put into the remote and be able to use it. So is it connected? So I'll switch on here and then let's see. Is it? Yeah, it is connected. So I can um, increase the movements. Increase the movements using uh, the button. I can change the reverse and forward. I can increase to level three. Actually, I can do the test from here. That's level one, level two, and then level three. Then I can change it back. I can pause and uh, unpause it. Now, I've realized that uh, the pause and unpause buttons are not put on uh, the dolly itself. 
So the only way you, if, if you want to pause or unpause, you'd have to use the remote. But also in case uh, you don't have the remote and you need to stop it, the only way you can stop it is maybe turning it off in case you don't have the remote. So the remote becomes an important thing when it comes to using this device. Um, so what I'm going to do, now the company includes this um, mount. Uh, let me test it. So let's say if I put this, then I can put my camera on. My camera is below the three kilograms, so it should be enough. Let's see, roll, roll. But also, uh, let's say if, um, if um, now the, the thing that uh, the company includes will not allow you to have those low shots. So for such cases, I would recommend getting something like this, the ball head, which would allow you to tilt the camera back and forth. That way you can get those tight shots in case you need them. For now, I just, uh, I'm just putting the camera on the dolly. Uh, actually, let me change it to this side because I would want it, let's say, to rotate around, let's say, this box. So what I would do, and uh, it holds the camera so well, so I would, um, let me see, I can, uh, okay, let's say that's what I'm looking at. Now for this case, I've not put uh, the ball head on, so I cannot tilt my camera a bit down so I can get this shot. But uh, let's say I'm having like a talking head video, like this one that I'm having right now. I would uh, set my uh, slider that side with the camera on so that it gives me that smooth transition. So let me turn it on and reduce the speed a bit. So you're seeing how it would, um, okay, I've not uh, made the angle straight, but uh, this is how it would move around the product. So in case you're doing those uh, B-rolls of, um, let's say you're doing uh, the product reviews, this is something that um, would work for you, like getting those tight shots. If you're doing the speed drums, yeah, this would be the product that um, would do so much good for such uh, video cases. And uh, for somebody who is doing like um, uh, kitchen videos where you have to record those tight shots of, uh, let's say, you slicing up the vegetables, uh, you doing the cuts and uh, the arrangement of uh, the different uh, materials that you're going to use to do your cooking, I think this product would be a product that would work for you. Let me, let me put it to straight line and then do the movement. Let me start it from here and I'm going to have it, I'm going to have it move this side. Is this even a straight line? Okay. So, in the camera it may not seem like a straight line, but on my table it is a straight line. One angle is not straightened up well, but yeah, it gets the job done so you can have those different shots. And then, uh, because there's a remote control, you can have control to where you want your shot to move to. So, um, when and uh, who is the person that would need such a such a device. Any person who is uh, doing uh, cinematography, somebody who is doing uh, product videos, uh, and uh, the best thing about it is you can also uh, use your phone to it. Let me see, I have a phone holder here. I can actually twist this thing on. So it's not limited to only people who are using uh, cameras also you who has a phone. Remember, I've not uh, put the ball head because I don't have it here with me, but I can uh, simply just use my phone, both in landscape or portrait mode. Let's say if uh, that's my shot, I can simply use the same device for my phone to do the same shots. So you're not limited to what all uh, what device you have, all what use cases that you might have. But if you want to do those cine cinematic uh, moves of your product or even reveal shots of your own um, recording, or if uh, you're having a podcast and you need that smooth slide in, like we've seen in uh, news or big podcasts, this device would do it for you. Now, most of uh, the standard uh, sliders are super expensive. 
super expensive and they're too mechanical. You need a lot of stuff to uh, work your way out with it. But this gets it simple, like you get it out of the box and you are ready to use it. So <clears throat> that is the newer dolly for you. And um, from my research, I realized that um, unlike the newer, the Andoa, I think I'm pronouncing it right, Andoa, uh, it comes with a ball head included in the box. It's what I've read uh, from the website. But uh, if that's a thing, I think uh, it would be an advantage over the newer. Now, the battery, the battery is, um, like we said, it is uh, 500, hmm? it's 1500 mil, mil amps. Yeah, well, the battery, like we said, it's 1500 milliamps and it would last six hours before it blacks out. So this thing can roll for a day before you think of uh, replacing the battery. So yeah, that's the newer dolly slider for you. Um, if you found this video any useful, please don't forget to press that uh, subscribe button and like and share to somebody. Uh, thank you so much. And um, in case uh, there's any product that you would love us to look at or any improvements that uh, you would advise us to take on, please do that in the comment section. See you in the next one. Bye.